Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to another David Maxford Golf video where today we're going to be doing a video which I've wanted to do for a long time and that is range balls versus premium balls. So the range balls, just to note, there are actually a couple of different variations of range balls if you're using your Garmin R10 on the range. There's a softer range ball like these Strixon range balls or there's also a firmer range ball like the Pinnacle Practice range balls. So it's important to know which one you're using. The softer one is gonna have a little bit less ball speed obviously than the harder one. And maybe some differences in spin, you're really not gonna know because they're range balls. Into the premium balls though, I'm gonna be really interested to see if the Garmin can pick up the differences and what differences there are. So this is actually the first time that I've done this test, so I'm running it live for you guys. My expectations are that if I use the softer range ball, it's actually gonna spin a little more with a little less ball speed. And if I use a premium ball, it's gonna spin a little less, get a little bit more distance, a little bit more ball speed. Let's check it out and see how we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start with a pitching wedge and we're just gonna see how this goes. That was a nice strike to start with, with the range ball. 114. Another good strike, 114.5. Pretty similar with all of those. So that's actually a really good set. Let's, um, got that one a hair thin, which is probably why that's gone 121. Let's just check the last shot. And I just want to check the spin rate on that one because I hit that pretty clean. 8,891. So now we're going to jump into the Callaway Chromesoft XLS, which is a premium ball, and then we're going to go through the numbers at the end and we're going to compare them. So again, what I'm expecting is this to spin a little bit less than the range ball to go a little bit further with a little bit more ball speed. But let's just see what happens. Let's see if the Garmin is good enough to pick that up and if it can actually tell us the difference between two balls. They definitely feel so much better. Like it's, yeah, it's chalk and cheese really in terms of feel. So 120 carry with that one. That was a nice strike too. Ball speed I think is relatively the same. 116. Didn't really get that one. That's probably the worst one that I hit. And we're still 116.5, so it's probably on average a couple of meters further. I definitely hit the range balls better, but they each got a shot in and around that 120, and then I'd say that the range balls are probably, anyway, we'll go through the averages at the end. Let's jump into a 7.9. All right, so 7.9 now, we'll start with the range ball. Get a few good shots in here as well. Hit that one well. 116 mile per hour. I think this is probably where we'll see the bigger differences will be the ball speeds in this. I actually hit that one really well and the ball speed's only 116. See, I kind of, I actually swung that harder and they got the ball speed up, so 156. That first one might've just been a little more spinny. Let's check the numbers on that first one. 7,192, we go to the next one, and we got 6,231. Hit that one good too. Swinging it well today. So I hit that one pretty good again, and it's gone 114.8 mile per hour ball speed. So we had one good one, and the other two were really quite short. This is gonna be really be interesting. I think I'm gonna probably find this one the most interesting in the test, but we'll see what it brings out. Push that one right, kind of like the first one actually that I hit with the uh, the range ball. They were pretty much identical swings and we have further distance. So if we just check the spin rate on that, I'm guessing the spin rate is gonna be down. Yeah, 6,420 compared to that first one, which was I think around about 8,000. Didn't get that one very well. It'll be interesting to see, yeah, 145. I didn't hit that one well at all. That was probably the worst one that I've hit. All right, that was a good swing. So 122 ball speed, same club speed really, and we have 
154 carry. So 154 carry is pretty good. Top of the four iron. Four iron with the range ball. Hit that one pretty good. 131. Carry 184. Bit of a fade on it. Got that one a hair thin. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I might take that one out of the numbers. Just, I didn't really hit that one very well. 174 carry. We'll leave it there for now in case I hit an ordinary one with the other one as well. I just hit the roof. <laughs> Well, I'll fix that, but that was actually a good shot. So, let's get on to the premium ball. Uh, I just hit the roof, so if you guys could kind of like slap a like and subscribe, because otherwise the wife's gonna kill me. There's a hole in there. But I'm gonna continue this test because I'm dedicated giving you the results. May cost me my life. End of the Callaway now. Let's keep that swing abbreviated. Hit that one again, pretty much identical to the first range ball that I hit and we got 194 carry. So it's gone a little right because I'm obviously abbreviating the swing now, but I still hit that really well. Swing speed was good. Hit that one really good. So if we hit all, the, all three of these really good, then I'll take out the short one from the, the range ball that I didn't hit that well. Uh, I didn't hit that one very well. Got that one a little toey, so that probably is fair game really. Yeah, 187, so we can see the drop off there. It's probably fair game with the other ones. Let's take a look at the numbers and see how we've gone. All right guys, so I'm gonna throw the numbers up here. Now, if you see me looking down, that's because that's where the iPad is connected to the HDMI, which throws to the projector. But basically, if we go and take a look at the numbers, what we're gonna see, if we start from the pitching wedge, uh, we actually had around about, within, within a meter difference in carry, which is kind of what I expected. They're, they're lower end of clubs, so they're gonna have less differences in ball speed and whatnot. Um, so there's about a, a meter difference in carry. Um, what I will say is that first swing there was read at 107 mile per hour. That was probably a misread on the swing speed, so that's gonna be the differential that you'll see on the swing speeds. If we go into the spin rates, so what you can see here is that the, on average, there is actually a thousand RPMs difference in spin. So like I thought, the, the range balls are gonna spin more, uh, the premium balls are gonna spin less. It's just the way that they're constructed, it was always gonna happen. Jumping into the seven iron, so the seven iron, uh, we have an identical club speed, which is awesome. Um, we have ball speed on the Callaway ball is up by about 2.2 miles per hour, and the carry distance again is up by 1.7 meters, nearly two meters. So two meters around about two and a half yards, you're gonna get extra with the, with the uh, premium balls. Into the spin rates here, it's actually really interesting. The spin rates were pretty much the same. Um, so you've got around about two yards of difference, two and a half yards of difference with similar spin rates. I actually struck the range balls, I think, with the seven iron a little better than what I did with the premium ball. Um, but either way, there's still a difference there. Into the four iron, this again um, was definitely the biggest difference. So you've got identical swing speeds. Uh, the ball speed is up by around about four miles per hour with the Callaway ball. Um, and then you've got a carry distance difference of almost 11, well it is 11 meters, which is basically 12 and a half yards thereabouts, 12 and a half yards thereabouts. Um, and the spin, if we take a look at the spin differential, uh, the range ball spun up again about an extra 300 RPM compared to the premium ball. So, so to me guys, that's enough for me to actually look at it and say that the Garmin R10 can actually differentiate between when using a range ball and when using a premium ball. When we get into those longer irons, the four irons and whatnot, there's a substantial distance difference in carry. So if you're going down to the range and you're finding that you're actually carrying it a lot shorter, that's gonna be exactly why 
the premium ball performs better, performs longer, and the range ball is gonna give you shorter distances. If you know how much, on average, distance difference it is, then you can calculate it yourself and you're gonna be fine. So, cheers for that, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, throw them in the comments, and I'll get back to you guys. Cheers.